Hey everyone, I'm Teach Pine and we're back to Dog Kickers. And uh, there are two news. One is that Dog Kickers is now on Steam in early access, and the other one is that Dog Kickers now is in version Alpha 4.2 or 4.2, which improved some important stuff. Um, it's in implemented the realistic shooting, as it is called, which means that. Yeah, hopefully we can <laughs> kill the, the enemies better. Um, now they did some changes to the shooting, and they improved um, the AI of the SWAT team. Like, uh, if you throw a flashbang, the so uh, the the SWAT guy will only proceed his path um, after the flashbang did explode, and some other minor stuff. So sounds good. Let's test it. Level six, a more of street apartment. Three to five tangos, and we have to kill them all. So let's get into that. Okay, we can implement two. Uh, put down two guys. Oh, by the way, I learned what the difference between pistol and M4 is. Um, the pistol is better at going around corners and stuff like that because it's shorter, and the M4 is better at range. So it might be good to have different guys. Well, actually, for this mission, probably just two pistol guys because it's a little, pretty, pretty small apartment and. There are not that many long range. Well, there's one in the main room here, obviously, but uh, I think I go with that. So go. Lock and load. Let's do this. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we want to throw a flashbang in here and then. Okay. And then um, storm. Affirmative. So let's see. Looks good to me. Got it. You're going here. And flash out. Everyone enters the room, please. Oh wait, we should wait for the flashbang probably. I'm on it. There's one guy. Okay. Got um. Welco. Okay. Oh, there's one to the right too. So let's change point of view in this direction. Oh. Um. What? Oh, he lost the view to this guy. That's bad. Probably dead now. X-ray down. Tango down. <laughs> well, <laughs> that worked better than expected. <laughs> um, this guy is out of ammo, though. We got three. There might be five. So there could be two more. I think you reload. Oh, actually, I don't think there's one to the right in the small room with the TVs. Or I think it's a computer with two desktops, um, two not desktops, ah, uh, two screens. So um, you go Got over it. here, and you go okay. over here, and you reload. Roger. Oh God damn it! There was one. <laughs> okay, yeah, you should not take these risks. Um, menu restart mission. Okay, let's try that again, but this time. Actually, I want one M4 guy, I think, because this living room is larger than expected. So let's swap this guy for an, for an M4 carabine soldier. Okay, you're, you, oops, oh no, we should start. <laughs> you're let's going through the door and to the right. Okay. And I'm on it. While you're going to the door, you're throwing a flashbang like this. Or oh, we could use the. We could uh, look beyond the door, but what is it called? Forgot it. Spy camera, right? Um, but I don't think I want to actually. And when you're here, up, oh, up, up, wrong buttons. When you're here, when you're here, you check this direction. And you actually, we can bind these to these. Wait, can we just send him through the door? Well, what will happen? I'm not totally sure. I will try this. What happens if he tries to go through the door before the flashbang got thrown? Uh, let's let's try it out. Actually, I think Watch he's waiting. X-ray down. Roger. Tango down. Well, that worked. That worked way better. I think he got injured. Yeah, but um, that's still good. Okay, but he's a pistol guy. He has to go uh, around the corners now, so we need him to check out this area. 
Oh, like this one. Saves this angle. Uh, secures that angle. Take him down. Good nice. Job. We're done here. On your oh, that worked. That worked pretty well. <laughs> he just ran into me. Um, seven seconds. <laughs> well, that was fast. Um, yeah, the enemies are relying to sound. So if you shoot someone or open a door or something, they will come and look for you. And um, that actually helped me in that situation because I turned around fast enough to get him. And I secured all the angles, and so that went pretty well. Um, by the way, it would be nice to have a, re uh, no, a replay now because that everything happened pretty fast. And the devs stated they want to implement that, so you can watch a replay after you complete the mission, uh, which is pretty cool in my opinion, because then you can watch what happened exactly. Because that, that was a seven-second mission, right? That was really fast, which is cool because it's yeah, what SWAT is doing, right? You're going in there and you're trying to be fast and efficient and safe, and um, yeah, that worked. And um, it would be cool to have that in a replay function now. And, as I said, the devs want to implement that. I am looking forward to that feature. But I think it will not be in the next update. It will be... Uh, what, what was it? I think... I don't know, I forgot what was... What will be in the next update. I think a random mission generator or something like that? Not totally sure. So... Yeah, both got injured, but nobody got killed. And the pistol guy killed three, and the M4 guy killed the one in the upper left. And they... Hit with hit with 100%. That's pretty good. And yeah, nice. They worked pretty well, in my opinion. So we're done with the most street department. Oh, we cannot. Oh, there's an overall button. <laughs> okay, I think it's for the future when you future when you have campaign mode and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, persistent squad members. Oh, I am looking forward to all these changes, it will be amazing. I, I, I like the game already, it's a really, really solid game, in my opinion, for 10 dollars or 10 euro or whatever. Um, really, really solid game, in my opinion, and there is so much more to come, it's like, wow! <laughs> I'm really impressed by that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling way too long here, so thanks a lot for watching, have fun, and see ya the next time.